it's got really good vibes as well. Yeah, there's like, such a warm, loving energy in this house. Hello, we finally own a home. We own a tree, we own grass. We own the ceiling. We own this step. That step, this door. This is our hallway. We have our own hallway and it's perfect <laughs> and it's so beautiful. I love this stone. This is a bungalow that's 50 years old and we bought it from the same couple that built the house. The people who owned this prior to us, they wanted to go to a family that would look after it. So we're gonna do our utmost to look after it. They poured so much love into this house over their lifetime, you can tell. It does need a bit of TLC and stuff, but obviously we want to put our own stamp on it because it's now our house. It's somewhere we plan on staying for a very long time, if not forever. It's just so gorgeous. I'm just so grateful that this is our house now. It's been such a long road. We've spent years studying. I'm finished my thesis. A bachelor of science degree, honours degree in education and training and renting. In Dublin suburbs and in the commuter belt, rents now range from 1800 to 2000 euro per month. And saving. Why we live at home in Thomas's parents' house. <laughs> Thanks, mom and dad. Yeah, it's literally like just a huge, just a huge oh, yeah. weight has just gone off because we just have a bit of security now and I don't have to worry about phone calls from banks and solicitors and surveyors and valuers <laughs> and fucking oh it's it's been such it's been such a faff and I'm just so happy that it's all done and we can have all the positive parts now. Yeah. This video is just going to be us showing you the house and telling you our plans. It's going to take us so many years to do all of the renovation jobs that we want to do with this house. Renovation is very, very expensive and costs have gone up during the pandemic as well, but we're not in a mad rush. We're just going yeah. to do one room at a time. That's what your family did with their house. Yeah, like this house is very much, it's in a very, very good condition. So we, it's it's livable as is. So we're just gonna move in. It's just a bit just... rough around the edges, but like that's endearing. <laughs> and I actually, the two of us really loved the idea of the challenge of doing it up as well. At least we can do this house up in our own style. And, you know, we both love very Harry Potter-ish, Pride and Prejudice-ish, dark academia vibes. Yeah. And apparently that's what you call the kind of look that we like. But then we're just going to treat each room as like its own thing and yeah. not have the same aesthetic through the whole house. But yeah, this is just the best thing ever. My dad is moving here with us and he's gonna build on an extension. He's gonna convert the garage and the shed and we will possibly um, add on to that as well. We don't know yet if we'll need to do that. Until then, he will be living with us and our family cats, Bilbo and Molly, will be living here too. I'll show you the hallway first. We were left a mother-in-law's tongue. Well, that's what my mom says this plant is called mother-in-law's tongue, so I'm assuming that she is correct. If she's wrong, we're very embarrassed. <laughs> then if I point you down this direction, you see there's this gorgeous arch in the hallway. This is the only part of the house that does have wooden floors, though they're not really the kind of wood I'm a massive fan of, but you know, they're, they're in good nick and yeah, absolutely love this arch. There's just so much we could do here with, you know, a photo gallery wall, all kinds of lovely frames. I get one of those big old like antique mirrors over here. This stone is just stunning. Like it's, it was one of our favorite parts of the house. Outside this house has like a feature chimney and stuff. Your granddad used to do this, didn't he? Yeah, my granddad was a bricklayer. Um, so he did things like this. Like this. Welcome to our extremely yellow and red living room slash dining room. It is absolutely huge. It's a big long room and they left us a child of Prague in the corner. It's for good luck. Obviously all the paint colors are gonna go. This carpet is definitely gonna go eventually. There's a lot of like little di dips in it from furniture and stuff, but other than that, it's been very well maintained. Like it's not dirty. They didn't have pets or anything, so it's fine for now. Yeah, um, it's actually like, it's in very good condition. 
considering like um, what we might do is in the short term get a carpet cleaner in to kind of give it a good run through mm. and then in the longer term we're thinking a wooden floor in here yeah gorgeous like rich wood with big old-fashioned rugs and green walls is what we're leaning towards. There's lovely like crown moulding and stuff that I kind of actually like. I didn't like yeah. it at first, but it is nice and... I love it. Yeah, Thomas is a big fan of it. And now our biggest thing we're kind of hemming and hawing about is the fireplace situation. So there is this stunning <laughs> like mahogany, a real marble fireplace. Um, we're definitely putting... a a wood burner in instead of there's a gas fire in there right now and they're very expensive to run and we just love real fires anyway so it is undeniably stunning like look at that it's absolutely gorgeous however there is behind here a old 70s you know that kind of wacky paving stone that's in the hall and outside the house there's one of those fireplaces in here and Thomas loves this. Yeah, I I'm don't... I'm curious about the stone, but I'm also terrified of pulling this out and then realizing we hate it and we don't want to decorate the entire room around like an old stone fireplace. Yeah, I feel like this is the, do you know that episode of the Simpsons when Mr. Burns is trying to bribe the guys from the safety patrol or whatever and they're like you can have the lovely washer and dryer that Smithers is modeling or you can trade it all in for What's in this box? The box! Let us know what you would do if this was yours I know what they would do is they'd leave the fire alone It's gorgeous Oh yeah? Yeah Oh yeah? Yeah <laughs> Yeah, like it's very Christmassy It has, you know, just the details on it are absolutely gorgeous They had these kinds of storage units inbuilt Oh, that's one cool thing Is that they left behind their um, alarm CCTV system And it's really good It works really well And it has cameras like all around the house They were an elderly couple obviously So they were probably just having it there just in case, but it records 24 seven. And they said that they'd leave all that for us. So that was really cool. Cause uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's really brilliant to have. Can't be too careful nowadays. But yeah, with the lights and stuff in here, like I, I'd love to put like crystal chandeliers. They have lovely little lights in the walls as well. This is my favorite part of the house. Like it is just so bloody gorgeous it's a never mind the bird ship but yeah it's a conservatory and it's just so peaceful and they left us all of these amazing plants i think he said they're called bergenvillia and um, they're from spain which is particularly meaningful for us because we lived in spain together at the start of our relationship we're going to name each of these plants after a different part of spain that we visited when we when we lived there but um yeah, he left all these gardening books as well. He left a ride on lawnmower. <laughs> I'm absolutely delighted with that. I've worked on a ride on lawnmower since I was five. I'll be forever grateful and I will take good care of it because I love it. They left gardening tools and I'm so excited to get into gardening. I've never had my own garden. Can't forget the big retro TV where we're gonna put our Nintendo 64 and that is going to be joyful. So, so joyful for parties with our friends and family to have like old games consoles and an old TV. I'll do the outside a little bit later, but there is this big patio as well. And it is in dire need of a jet wash and obviously some garden furniture and stuff, but eventually whenever we can afford it, we'd love to put like a fire pit or something cool out there because it's a gorgeous space. Welcome to our very old kitchen. <laughs> it's, it's um it is a little bit dated and stuff like that you know it doesn't have one of those big modern sinks but it's all works and i thought i hated all the little old handles and all that at first but i actually don't um i love them yeah and they're it's all quite, gorgeous it's, it's all gorgeous once wood. again as we said like it's it's all in really good condition it's, it's really good condition there's nice tiles and stuff and if you did want to jig up this kitchen without buying a whole new kitchen we could just do a DIY job and, and paint the wood and change the handles and change the tops and the sink. The kitchen and the bathrooms we're gonna leave 
to last. So we'll show yeah, you. Yeah, which is which is mad. In most places you move in, they'd be the first things you do. But uh, no, I just I really love it. It's really really cozy. Cozy. They added this extension for a big, huge utility room. And this is the coldest room in the house. There's a mold problem in here. So this will require a fair bit of work. Um, you know, you see down there, there's like really bad mold and, and stuff, but there's a lot of space out here. Like we could do a lot with this definitely. On that though, so in terms of how energy efficient the house is, there were a lot of things that they did that they didn't have a paper trail for, like their solar panels and they like pumped into all the walls. You can see all the little holes around the outside of the house where they did that. They have double glazed windows. They've done a lot of things to try and like make the house more efficient, but they didn't get the best rating because they didn't have a paper trail for some of it. So we don't actually know what the real bear rating is. And there's this lovely hallway and along here is all the bedrooms and the master bathroom. There's a big long loft. We probably won't convert the loft because there's nowhere really to put a stairs or styra. Well, Just I was thinking about this, like if you really wanted to convert, well now it depends on where the water tank is, but if you were to move the door in here to say here and then you left Put this wall down, you can put a spiral staircase here. Maybe Monday. In here we have our very blue bath, and <laughs> the whole bathroom's decorated in lilies. That's where Thomas does his shits. And yeah, this is the cutest little bath ever. Um, but it's so clean. I love the blue. I absolutely adore <laughs> this sink. I think it's gorgeous. I just love the gold and the blue. Yeah, they've like wooden paneling on the ceilings and spotlights. This is the first room that we are going to uh, do up and fix up. This is going to be my office and I can't believe I'm going to have my own office. There's just so much space in here for like bookshelves and a big beautiful desk with facing out to the little secret patch that leads out onto the farm and you know possibly a pull out bed sofa thing and that would be my filming background probably over there. Um, I'm so excited to do this. Um, this is going to be the kids room. So currently we only have the one. For There's now. <laughs> For now. There's a lot of built in storage. But um, we're probably going to get rid of a lot of this. What I'm envisioning is like a big massive floor bed in here. And then like that is going to be like one big wall where we have murals painted for whatever our kids slash kids are into at the time. Yeah, like obviously it's going to change over the years as our kids change, but it's it's really cute. I and mean, we can have bunk beds and stuff in here. So there are four bedrooms. This is going to be our bedroom where the magic happens. They left their TV, which was very nice. This is a total blank canvas. I have no idea what we're going to do with this room yet. Um, you can see that the beds left like patches in the carpets and stuff. Um, this is one of the things I'm most excited about with this house. Like I know I'm ridiculous, but look, I love sex in the city, you know. And this, my friends, is a walk-in wardrobe that I'm going to transform into a Carrie Bradshaw closet. And I'm gonna be like, din, 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 din. I'm gonna have to pull these all out <laughs> completely. And it's all gonna be painted blue. Half of it is gonna be for, for Thomas over here, but you know. Which half? The smaller half. <laughs> Um, then this is our ensuite bathroom, black and white, and it has a shower. The bathrooms are all grand. As I explained earlier, my dad will be living with us until his granddad pad is done. So he'll be in this room, the blue for boys room. Um, yeah. And yeah, he can do whatever he wants really with this room, but I'd, I'd say he'll just put all his things in here and exist until his little area is, is built. And uh, he has his own bathroom, so, it's a decent sized house, you know? There's there's three bathrooms and four bedrooms. And yeah, it's very, very spacious. And I can't believe this is our house. We did relocate to buy this house, just in case any of you are wondering. We knew a very long time ago, we really wanted to stay in Dublin and we wanted to stay um, close to our family, like within a short drive. Before the pandemic, we really didn't want to move towns. But I think during the pandemic, we just realized like, I don't know, our relationship with the town changed because we weren't in it all the time. Like we were at home so much more. 
and we realize how how much more important our actual immediate environment is versus like the location and that we didn't mind a bit of a drive moving a little drive away meant we could get a much more spacious house with lovely gardens and more rooms and stuff for the exact same price as a much smaller house in our you know most coveted location um but as you know the housing market has gone nuts yeah we're just really really happy with this place and um yeah should, should show you show you outside now come on guys come on there's little secret doorways out to the farm that our property backs up onto which is really cool and I, I'm obsessed with that um, our garden actually technically extends to a few meters behind these trees so we could just pull them all up and create like a new borderline um, what we're thinking of doing is just putting a big shed behind the trees because we're allowed to do that um, and then this is the garden and we want to put vegetable beds here and grow some nice fresh vegetables some fresh food and yeah we've loads of space here to do that and possibly put a little glass house but i'm scared of our kids like smashing the windows with their footballs so i don't know um i keep saying kids we've only got one child <laughs> just don't listen <laughs> for, to me. Now. for now for now that over there is the back of what I showed you guys earlier of where my dad will be doing his conversion. The shed is very much hidden behind like a load of leaves and then there's the big garage with like coal bunkers and stuff there. And the front garden is even bigger than the back garden but uh, there's no gates yet so we have to get some big gates. But there's loads of gorgeous plants out there. These big swishy white things, I don't know what they are. And um, it's just gorgeous, I am I just can't. It's gonna take me ages to process this. Yeah, it hasn't really. Only just got the keys. Yeah, yesterday. it hasn't hit me yet. It's gonna take a long time for it to sink in and move and stuff in and everything. So, <laughs> so crazy. We fell down. Ah. Ah. We are going to do a Q and A on the house and the process of buying the house and um, all of our decision making and just everything that'll be up fairly soon. And yeah, obviously we still have to move in. There's a lot of decluttering and organizing and packing that has to be done. And um, yeah, I just kind of want to document this because it's one of the biggest things that we have ever done. It's well, yeah, the, because the biggest thing apart from having our baby. From tomorrow, like we're gonna start moving stuff in. So it's nice to have some evidence of what the place looked like before, before we filled it with all of our things. And our memories and our life. And our life and our love. Our life and our love. I'm just so excited. Like, I just feel like it's got so much potential. And that was the biggest attraction to this house for us. Yeah. Um, it's got really good vibes as well. Yeah, there's like, such a warm, loving energy in this house. Yeah, like the last, the last owners, like, they used to have, like, an extended family Christmas every year. And used to have loads of visitors. And apparently they were all very sad that the house was getting yeah. sold. So We were told that they were kissing the walls. They loved the house <laughs> that much. They didn't want them to sell yeah. it. If you're new, please subscribe. And if you want to come along this journey of turning a house into a home, make sure you ring the bell thing. I don't know how good that is, but apparently it notifies you. Yeah, if you, like us, have wanted a house for your entire 20s. I'm now 32, you know, like, I know what it's like to watch these videos and be like, I want that so bad, I can't wait to have that myself, or what if I never have that, and like, just having those feelings and stuff, but I did always love, I love watching people moving into a home of their own because it would get me excited for the yeah. future, and it would also give, it gave me ideas, and it feels as good as as what you imagine it will one day you know and it doesn't matter if if you have to work a decade two decades three decades to get there it's the feeling that no one can kick you out and it's the feeling that like you can do whatever you want with it and you can have any kind of animals it's just a, f a, f a freedom um that i think is worth working towards so yeah we hope you enjoyed this video and it's the start of loads and loads and loads of videos about housey things fair winds that's what we should call our house. Fair winds. <laughs> We're calling it fair winds. We're trying to come up with a house name. <gasps> it's so hard. No one can move me from this floor.
Are you going to stay there? Yeah. Um, so we're going to go. Leave any video requests down in the comments. And I will see you again very, very soon, my loves. Day, day. Mwah, kiss from me. Say bye, bye, house. Bye bye, bye bye, good health. I thought you were doing the Red Wedding music there. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. Don't leave. <laughs> <laughs>